I am going to briefly tell you about online control of the false discovery rate with decaying memory. I am Aditya Ramdas and this is joint work with Fanny Yang, Martin Wainwright and Michael Jordan. Our work is motivated by large-scale sequential testing. In an A-B test, one compares an existing feature, A, with a new proposal, B, the null hypothesis stating that A is at least as good as B. After collecting data, to determine if the observed differences between A and B are significant, we calculate a p-value. If the p-value is smaller than some predetermined level alpha, we may reject the null, making the change from A to B, and have a guarantee that the type 1 error or false positive rate is at most alpha. As more products or features are added, companies often run hundreds or thousands of A-B tests over time. Unbeknownst to us, some null hypotheses are actually true, while others are non-null. The hypotheses that we proclaim as non-null are called discoveries. And false discoveries are those for which the null hypothesis is indeed true, but we proclaimed otherwise. The false discovery proportion is defined as the ratio of false to total number of discoveries, and the false discovery rate is the expected FTP. We would like our procedure to have low FDR, but high power, which is its ability to make true discoveries. In truly online applications, recent discoveries are likely more relevant than older ones, and we would like a way to smoothly forget the past. With this motivation in mind, we allow the user to choose a DK parameter D, and we define the decaying memory FDR or memFDR as an exponentially weighted average of past discoveries. The central question of this paper is as follows. Given a possibly infinite sequence of independent tests and p-values, how can we guarantee any time control of the FDR or memFDR in a fully online fashion? An important point of note is that a fixed error rate for each test does not control the FDR, even if the hypotheses, tests, and data are independent. We first define a novel but simple running estimate of the FTP. If the test at time t had an error threshold alpha t, then define the estimated FTP up to time t as the sum of all alpha t's divided by the number of discoveries up to time t. Our first contribution is to prove that if a monotone procedure has its estimated FDP always below alpha, then its FDR is also always below alpha. This gives a simple way to derive new online FDR procedures. Our second contribution is to design new monotone procedures that are provably more powerful than known ones and can additionally incorporate a DK parameter and also prior and penalty weights while guaranteeing memFDR control at any time. If you would like to learn more, please come to our talk at 11am on Wednesday morning and poster number 220 that evening. Thanks.